right guys so we are in rob's 2015 dodge challenger scat pack it is a manual transmission so i feel right at home thank you rob i appreciate that but this one is special this one is very special and rob is going to tell us why in a second but first let's get out of here oh i like your clutch your clutch is nice <laughs> that's one that's factory is it yep mine doesn't feel like that i love the way you have the cool air blowing up my ass <laughs> I, I, I mean a sick car nice loud everything and then ac seats yo you <laughs> can't beat these cars man i stay comfortable that's it man first things first let's talk about the party piece man what makes this Dodge Charlotte just the Challenger Scat Pack special. It's pro charged. Pro charged. Okay. We got a cam and headers put in by Mike from EMP Performance. Yeah. Uh, got a better transmission, RPM performance. Nice. Um, bigger brake calipers. Everything. What do you mean? What brakes did you go with? I went with the Hellcat six pistons. I nice. Put on after. Powder coated everything to match. Nice. Upgraded training. I mean, exhaust, full exhaust, including headers. Yep. Tuned by EMP Performance. Anything to cool the supercharger? Uh, Any additional yeah. cooling? It's got a intercooler. Okay, it's intercooled. Yeah, it's intercooled. Nice. Well driven. Um, That's it, huh? Pretty much it. That's it, man. And the inside looks really good. I like the two-tone interior. It's beautiful. And guys, it is super hot today. The car is currently reading 93 degrees. So this is not ideal to be driving a boosted car right now. But at the end of the day, you know, this is the day we chose and Rob showed up anyway. I appreciate that, man, because because I know it's, it's hot, man. Shucks is hot. Man, this is, I really like the Barton Shifter. Yeah, it's worth it. Wow, look at, look, click, click, click. Oh, I would do some damage with that. Definitely. Wow, I like this a lot. This yeah. is a lot of fun definitely worth getting. But they, they like to hear it, man. So we'll crack the windows and let them hear it a little bit. Ooh, I like it. Ooh, I like it a lot, man. So let's talk about aesthetics, man. So far, the car is, uh, I noticed the first thing were the wheels. What kind of wheels are these? Yep, it looks just I, that's, I, I thought they were demon wheels. Yeah, they're replicas. Nice. And what uh what size tires you got on all around? 275s in the front, yep. 315s in the back. Nice. 315s big. Rows. Big joints. And how how did you notice a big difference with when you put the wheels and tires on? Yeah, better handling. Got it. Oh. Got it. Now, when you did the wheels and tires, was it blown already? Nah. Okay. So you did that. How long ago was this car built? Oh wait, yeah, it was blown after. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I got the. So you, you was able to see the difference yeah, between yeah, the two. Yeah, definitely. Got it. Traction. Traction's a lot better. Handling's good. Do, do you do you have traction? Uh, <laughs> not with these tires. I put my drag radials on. Though. All right, so you do have a drag yeah. setup. All right, cool, cool. I was just making sure. Now nah, this car is. I, I know that it needs it, and you have the transmission and the clutch. What clutch is in here? Stock. And it's it, not clutch. And it holds the power? Yeah. They said that it Dodge got a good clutch with it. So they said just use it till I blow it up. All right, cool. Yeah. So the thing that I noticed that's really nicely done are your uh, your pods here for air fuel and boost. Yeah. Um, two things that you really want to keep an eye on, which is air fuel. Right. Now, you know that they make the taser, right? Where yeah, can... I got it. Okay, so you can see all the readings that I yeah. can see. Perfect. All right, so you press that. So cool. So to those of you that don't know, they, they make a, a product called the Taser, and what it does is it allows you to see all these different readings. G-force meters, zero to 60 timers, quarter mile timers, air fuel mixture ratios, it even intake uh, air temperatures, which is all things you need to know if you're about to race, because that's that'll tell you right now. If, if you're about to race someone and you know it's a close race, and your air intake temperatures are at 150, 
160, don't race because you're down on power. You know what I mean? So that's one thing I could definitely say is really cool that comes along with that product. Not, And I'm not endorsing it because I don't have it. I don't need it. But I, I just know that uh, it's a nice add-on for... Looks good to me. Yeah, exactly. But this car looks sick, man. You also, I also noticed the front splitter, which is really nice. Um, what else is done? Aesthetically. Got that APR splitter. Got yep. uh, the BJ's garage diffuser in the back. Ah, I didn't get a chance to see that. I had uh, Dale's Cuda window loopers in the back, but I took them off. I didn't want to look like everybody else now. Too many people out. Yeah. So I got rid of that. Okay. Where are you based out of, man? Where do you live? What area? Sayreville, New Jersey. Sayreville. Originally from Brooklyn, though. Nice, my bad. Me too, man. Born and raised. Yeah, me too. I went. What what part of Brooklyn were you in? Greenpoint. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My 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 family actually still lives in Williamsburg. Nice. Yeah, I went to uh, graduated from John Dewey High School in Coney Island. Are you familiar? Yeah, I know that one. Where'd you go to high school? I went to Robert F. Wagner. Okay. Arts and Technology in yep, yep. City. Yeah, yeah. I'm familiar. That's what's up, man. Look at that. <laughs> Car guys, say you know. You never know where someone else comes from, but this is nice, man. This, Thanks, man. It feels, honestly, it doesn't really feel much different than my car, except for the sound. You actually make sound, and then I'm car I'm constantly hearing the blower, which is just telling me, come on, Steph. Come on, Steph. What <laughs> you doing? <laughs> what you waiting for? Why you playing with it? it because it ain't my car, damn it. <laughs> All right? Shugs, I keep telling y'all, I'm not beating on people's cars. I'm gonna do a little pull so that we uh you know so that we could see what's good but i'm not going to be ripping it in people's cars and i'm pretty sure they appreciate it <laughs> appreciate it maybe give it a little rip uh, a little bit a little something something nothing crazy now one thing I, I know and been hearing a lot about emp is they they tune that the car has great drivability and i'm driving a car right now and i just told you it feels no different than my car with with the exception of the sound right and this amazing shifter i mean <laughs> They build good cars, man. Mike, he's pretty good at what he does. How'd you find out about him? A couple of friends. I went. Hold on, hold that thought. Hold that thought. So this is gonna be no traction. Nice. Nice. <laughs> nice. Clean. 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 Shifts good. Clean. I love this shifter and a freaking sound. Y'all gotta hear this Y'all have got to hear this. I'ma shut up now and just let y'all hear it. Woo! I love the sound, man. It's so nice. because they were like everywhere but i mean it was pretty cool but back to the subject i mean that's the type of stuff that you do when you have a really nice car guys you know you take it out you go out with your boys or you take your girl down to the beach which i'm pretty sure rob has fun doing oh, yeah. <laughs> and you drive the damn car plus it's an opportunity to open it up a little bit when you when you guys like us that live in pretty condensed areas any chance that you get that you can go and open your car up you know what i mean you do and Honestly, right now, I feel like I'm driving a Hellcat, but it just sounds better, shifts better, and you know,
know, to some people who don't like red cars or whatever, there I say look better. I love the shit of these cars, the sound of pop, pop. <laughs> so nice, man. But what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna pull over and uh, we're gonna switch because I'm not gonna drive this car the way you would. But I'm pretty sure that people wanna know, is a boosted scat worth it? So you could answer that question because you have it, right? What made you go boosted scat as opposed to just going Hellcat? I knew Hellcat was gonna sell when I bought this car, so I wanted to be different. I didn't want to be like everybody else. And when they told me the numbers of how many Hellcats were sold, it wasn't worth it to you. Nah. Got so it. I figured I'd do this up. So this car, with all the work that it has, I can't even ask you a roundabout number of what someone would have to pour in to make a car like this, but I'm gonna ask you anyway. What type of number would someone have to pour in to have their scat pack running 620 to the wheels like yours is? A lot. <laughs> At least like 20 <laughs> grand. <laughs> Extra. Jesus Christ. But you I mean, did yours over still... time or you did it all at once? Nah, a little bit over time. Little Every bit time over something time. broke, I change it. But the Pro it. Charger, pretty much when I bought the Challenger, I shipped it out to Pro Charger in Kansas. That was, uh... You sent the car to Pro Charger? Yeah, they used so it this as is a, a Pro Charger car. car? Yeah, they use it as a beta car. Holy sh That's pretty damn cool, man. Yeah, that was pretty good. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, how many people can say that, that their car is the reason that these cars come available with uh, with the supercharger that it has. Right. It's pretty damn awesome, man. All right, so here we are. We're just gonna head back over. Um, I just wanna catch a few revs for you guys and a few exhaust sounds of this thing. Sounds absolutely amazing. So whenever you're ready, Rob, all on you, brother. I guess I was just driving like a little <laughs> I was driving like a little girl, wasn't I? <laughs> wow! The reason why I got 11 points. Shit. Oh my gosh! <laughs> wow. This thing was just like... You drift, huh? Nah. Yes, you do. Nah. <laughs> you sure felt like it just now. <laughs>
right, so have you taken it to the track yet? Yeah. What's your fastest? 11.7. 11.7. At what speed? At 1.17. Nice. So you got out nice. Yeah. You got a, you got a pretty good launch. Yeah. When you run drag radials, what do you run? 11.7. That's what no, I No, no, no. Um, uh, what tire? Oh, well, uh, Mickey Thompson's. The ET Street R's. ET Street R. 18's. What RPM are you able to launch at? I, I try to stay in between 25 and, three, uh, and 35. Okay. I try to keep it right Doesn't there, it still, like, do a little bit of a bog? Like, I know when I do that, it's still, like, a little bit. It, like, right at the top of the, when, at, when I let out of the clutch, it kind of, uh, just yeah. a little bit. Yours is good, right? Yeah, mine is good. You know what? So this question applies to you, too, Rob. Uh, you had an opportunity. You could have bought an automatic, eight-speed automatic, fast car. You know it's faster, right? Yeah. So why did you get a stick? Everybody told me to get a get a manual, muscle car should be manual. So I got it. And then How do you feel about it? If you could do it all over again, would you do a stick again? Mm. Straight. Yeah, I'd probably. Yeah, I'd probably do a stick again. Me too, man. Yeah. Me too. I don't care like whether I'm the fastest or not. That's more fun to drive. It yes. And that's what I was telling uh, my buddy Sting Mode about uh, driving the, the manual. What's up everybody, it's Stefan here from Mod to Fame, and you just watched a video from our latest series called Modified Car Reviews. Well, what is Modified Car Reviews? Well, it's actually when we feature cars that have actually been built performance-wise, aesthetics, I mean, you name it, that's been done to the car. We actually consider that a modified car or car built. If you're interested in having your car be featured on Mod to Fame, it's pretty simple. You just hit the email, support at modtofame.com. That's showing up right now. Send us a couple images of your car and a little bit of information on your build. And if you're selected, we'll reach out to you. Keep in mind, we are in the Northeast. So we're keeping it right now in New York, New Jersey, Connecticut. But anyway, also while you're on the website, you might as well grab some of this merch, like what I'm wearing right now. This is the Black Edition t-shirt. Uh, whatever I was wearing in the video, I'm not sure which one it is. It could have been one of the hats. It could have been a different shirt. All of it is available right now at modthefame.com. So go ahead and grab that for yourself. Anyway, it's your boy Stefan here from Mod the Fame. And if you like this video, you know what to do. Like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more videos. But until the next one, we about to jump in this modified Durango, and we out, we out.